How many points are too many? First time home buyers, actually, even if you're not a first time home buyer, this is something that I'm seeing come up a lot. Now, before we begin, I'm a mortgage lender licensed in 48 states. My team is one of the top purchase lenders in America. So we talk to buyers all day. We talk to people who are refinancing. We look at loan estimates, right? I always say, if you're unsure about the lender you're working with, you want us to check it, make sure you're not getting ripped off, reach out, okay? The number to reach out, we have a new one, 786-933-2077. Text or call, you'll get myself, Sandy, Alyssa, or Linda. Okay, so what are we seeing? I'm seeing loan estimates with just a ton of points. So first of all, what is a point? There's two different types of points. There's an origination point and a discount point. Now, not all lenders charge origination points, but some do. If I was looking at getting a loan and I saw origination points of one, I'd be like, uh, oh, that's fair. If I saw two, three, four, or five, I would like call another lender immediately. Like that's a red flag. Okay. And sometimes the lender goes, oh, well, you're not paying it. The bank's paying that you're paying a higher rate so that that lender's making a fortune. It's that simple, okay? There's no reason a lender should be making three origination points off of you. I can't stress it enough. Um, okay, that's not where I see the drama though, okay? I, I don't see a lot of that. I see it on occasion, but not as much recently. Where I'm seeing drama is on discount points. So what a discount point is, it's, is, it's a cost, that was interesting, right? It's a cost to lower the rate. And you may be like, okay, well, I want to lower the rate. Like, that's great. You know, whatever discount points they think to get the best rate, because I want the best rate. The best rate is not necessarily by paying as many discount points as possible. Like, for instance, personally, as a lender, I don't do a lot of points. And the reason I don't do a lot of points is because it doesn't generally math out. And that's what so many people don't do is they don't do the math. They go, oh, well, they said they'd give me this rate and the rate looks good. And you're like, yeah, that rate looks great. But then you look at it and you're like, uh, you're paying five points for that rate. Okay. So how much is one point? One point costs. 1% of the loan amount. So if you have, it just $500,000 as your loan amount, one point is $5,000. Two points is $10,000. Three points is $15,000. Four points is $20,000. We can do this together now. Five points is $25,000. If you have small children, I've just taught them to count. Anyways, fantastic. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. So whenever you're talking about points, it has to be, does it lower the rate enough for the cost? Okay. And people go, oh, well, if I'm paying one point and it costs 1% of the loan, then it lowers the rate one person. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. That's the thing about points. It's different based on the lender. It's different based on the loan officer. There's no one set metric for how much lower a rate is per point. Changes every day, changes with the market too. There's a lot to it. And, you know, unfortunately, this is not something taught in high school. And so people are like, oh, well, the rate's good. You know, it's like three points. I don't know what any of that means. And here's the thing, whenever you are paying points, okay? I don't care if it's one, two, three, the question you need to ask the lender is, what is the no point rate? Okay, meaning you're not paying extra money to lower rate. What is the par rate, okay? And then the next question is, okay, well, so how, like if they're like, oh, three points, whoa, what about one and two? What about half a point? Show me the rate sheet. That's what I would say. Like, look, if I was buying a house or refinancing and I was working with a lender that wasn't like, look, I can't work with myself and the lenders I work with, I do say, hey, can I see the rate sheet? And it's not because I don't trust them. It's because I want to do the math, right? And that's the thing is that 
the mortgage industry unfortunately has like zero education. It's actually shameful. To get your license, you take a test on a bunch of stuff that literally is just laws and rules, but it's not actually how to do a mortgage or how to think about money or how to calculate if points make sense. It's none of that, right? And you also right now are in a time when so many mortgage lenders aren't doing much business, they're desperate. And so if you say, oh, I really want this rate and they go, okay, here you go. And you're not reading. They're like, thank God, I'm going to get a paycheck this month. Right? So your job is to read and ask questions. So like, for instance, with my clients, when I'm quoting, I quote with no points. Um, every time I can, and the only time I, I will quote with points is if I have to, um, it, you know, in the past, there's been times in the market where for a second home or investment, I haven't had no point options, but owner occupied, you know, VA, FHA, conventional, um, nine out of 10 times, I have a zero point option, especially right now. Okay. Lots. <laughs> so I would always say, Hey, can I see the rate sheet? Because you want to, you want to be able to go, okay, well, wait a second. I don't have to buy a whole point. And if I do half a point, it's actually better mathematically. So you want to calculate how much you're going to save, you know, because sometimes you're paying $15,000 in points to save $50 a month. That doesn't make sense right? And you're like, gosh, that makes no sense. How can these lenders do this? There's no rule. Like that's the thing. Like there's a limit on how many points a lender can charge, but there's no rule that it has to mathematically make sense. I'm not kidding. Like I, I think, and look, is it a problem in the industry? Yes. Do I expect it to get solved soon? No, I don't. I don't. And that's why it's so important who you're working with that they're taking the time to go through this with you. And if right now you're working with a lender and you look at the loan summary and you're like, oh my God, there's five points. There's two points. There's three points. And no one talked to you about it. You need a breakup now. Like I can't say it enough. And you know, sometimes people are like, oh, Jen, you're just trying to get business. No, like, yes, no, yes, kind of. Here's the deal you don't charge someone money like that and not talk to them. Like, it's just not right. It's that simple. It's like, you know, think about your job. I don't know what you do, but if you have a client and you were giving them a service and you were going to charge them a ton of money, wouldn't you tell them? Wouldn't you discuss it with them? Wouldn't you explain it to them? Or would you just be like, With email, these just get shot to you guys. No one's explaining it and it's a red flag. So it's like, look, do I think you should work with me over that? Uh, yeah, hundred percent. Like, why would you want to work with a less experienced lender who's trying to just trick you into points? I don't get it. Like work with a good lender and a good lending team that will show you how it works, but most importantly, won't just sell you points to sell you points. And that's the silliest part about all of it is that because sometimes people go, oh, well, the lender's trying to make more. Not necessarily, like sometimes these are call centers, they just don't know better, you know? And that's the thing is there's just such a low bar of education for the mortgage industry and you guys are the ones footing the bill. So definitely do not buy points without having the lender do the math. Um, if you're working with a lender and they're saying you have to buy all these points, it's not necessarily real. Get a second opinion. Personally, Okay. Personally, cause I know someone would say the gal I was talking to, she's like, Jen, when is it way too many? And she was being charged five points. And it was one of those builder deals where they're like, Oh, we'll give you credit towards closing. And all that money goes towards points. And you're like, Oh, okay. So you're not really covering anything except for a fake amount. Got it. Um, personally, I don't push on points heavily, especially right now, because we're in a declining market meaning that with rates going down, I think most of the people I'm working with are going to refinance within the next few years. So I don't want them losing money. But if I was going to do points, um, would I do one point? Yeah. If it maths out, would I do one and a half? If the client really wants to, and it maths out, would I do two? It's got to math out and the client has to want it. And I really am going to try to talk them out of it. Would I do more? No. At that point, um, I think I've had one where I've done more and it's like, literally they had spreadsheets. Like this was like happening in an accountant's house. 
Um, and look, with rates going down, I said it at the time, I'm like, if rates go down enough, like this is wasted money, but that's what they were comfortable with, right? Over two, most of the time I'm gonna say, hey, I think you really need to go to another lender, you know, because I'll have people that are like, well, I wanna buy four points. And I'm like, why? And they're like, well, I, that's what I wanna buy. And I'm like, okay, you need to go to a different lender because I am not gonna put you in a position where ethically I have burnt your money, you know, or lit your money on fire. So it's really important with all of this that you guys have your eyes wide open. And if you're like, oh, well, the seller's paying for it, Guys, could they be paying for something else? And why is the seller paying for all these points? Like, it's not normal. So start asking questions. Don't just accept what people tell you. You know, do some research, but please, please, please watch out for this because it's one of the things I'm seeing nonstop and it's the same thing. No one's talking about it. The client's having to treasure hunt for it after seeing one of my videos and it's just not the way it should be done. Okay. Thank you for watching. Questions, comments, if you wanna get on the calendar, there's always a link uh, in the description of my videos, as well as a link if you wanna do a pre-approval. We have the new phone number, which I've already forgotten. 786-933-2077, I think. Anyways, check the beginning of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps you, and I hope it saves some of you from getting ripped off with points. Thank you.